radiation got you down? Well, I got the answer for you without the worry of those darn fusion cores, which always are required to run your power armor. Voila, meet the hazmat suit. Why, hello again, my fellow vault dwellers and wasteland wonders. How's your day going over there? It's Robbie with Oprah Games, and let's get radiated. Actually, let's not get radiated. So you're wondering how you can get your hands on the radiation suit, or more properly known as the hazmat suit. Well, first up, open up your map and locate Diamond City. Now head east on your map until you find something called Hugo's Hole, which sounds like a nasty dive bar that has prostitutes reoccurring in the area, but this time it is the apocalypse, so be warned there are level 21 raiders instead. They may not be prostitutes, but trust me, they can be just as bad, so make sure you are a little bit leveled up before heading into this area. So once you have snuck your way through with the sneaky sneak, you can find a quarry. Next to this, you will see some machinery near a large block of stone or whatever material this is. To get to the hazmat suit, you have two choices. Go through the front door, risk dying in a heap of bullets or irradiated material, or climb up on one of the excavators and go around. You'll be able to flank the turret this way, jump down, put on the hazmat suit, and avoid the damage altogether. And as you can see, you take quite a bit of radiation just by standing in this zone for a few seconds, so it's pretty bad. Now the hazmat suit gives you 1000 radiation resistance and is perfect for heading into the glowing sea. Maintaining power armor might not be your thing, so this is a perfect alternative. And guess what? You could wear both in tandem so you can have the ultimate resistance build by wearing your power armor and then underneath it, your radiation suit. And by the way, if you are wondering if you can survive the glowing sea with max sneak, it seems that these legendary enemies will be on you in a heartbeat, at least from my personal experience. So just be warned if you're trying to sneak your way through the glowing sea. Anyway, good luck, my fellow Wasteland Wonders. Life is rough out on the tundra of the apocalypse. You better believe it. I will see you guys later in the Wasteland. And remember, drink plenty of purified water. Subscribe if you are new to Open World Games. And thank you again for sticking with me here on YouTube and beyond. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you later.